really good looking boat. I mean, every Ranger tug is 360 degree views. So great, great spot. There is so much boat for the length and that's why I love these Ranger tugs. What's up everyone? Today I've got another Ranger tug tour. This time it's a 2013 model R31 and it's actually for sale. So more information on that later in the video. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It certainly helps us a lot. So thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Stepping onto the aft deck and looking at the swim platform off of the transom. There's a stern rail off of that swim platform as well as dinghy mounts. So this is where your dinghy is going to go. The door through the transom is over here on the starboard side as well as a fold away swim ladder. These folding cockpit seats are really clever the way they work. How they fold outward and don't take up any cockpit space and then they can fold back away while you're underway. Got a nice little sink back here as well as a fridge over here on the port side and then also over here on the port side you can see how those cockpit seats fold away so that's what they look like when they're folded just really clever and I think you guys are gonna notice there's a lot of clever things the R31 is a diesel inboard model so the diesel is gonna be under the aft deck right here but first we're gonna head on up to the flybridge and this is the first Ranger tug that I've been aboard that has one of these so I'm pretty excited and this is the way you get up to up to that flybridge. Now, Ranger Tugs actually calls this a command bridge, and from my understanding in pleasure boating, they're essentially the same thing. But this is an awesome space to pilot the boat from in fair weather, obviously. And the really nice thing about this boat is even with the instrument mast up, you are under the required 19 and a half foot of clearance to do the great loop. So this is a beautiful great loop boat. Up here you've got everything you need to drive the boat as well as really good visibility all around 360 degree views so great great spot turning aft and giving you guys another angle on this flybridge and looking at the instrument mast and again even with that mast up you're good for the great loop so that's awesome but you can also take it down if you need to so that's another option which is really nice you got a bimini top up here as well and yeah just a really nice space and it's nice to have an extra deck especially on a boat of this size this is only 31 feet guys so it really helps make the boat feel a lot bigger and we're going to go ahead and head back down and we're now going to go forward on the boat to show you guys what we got going on up there so along the side of the boat a little bit sketchy you know everything on a boat's a compromise so that's the trade-off of having a ton of interior volume but you do have good handholds going forward and once you're up here there is a lot of room for activities horizontal windlass on the bow with a rock net anchor on the bow roller looking aft just a really good looking boat i mean every ranger tug is i love the lines of these boats and looking back up at the flybridge slash command bridge that's where we just were and right here is actually another fold out seat so you open this up, put the cushions down, and you've got a nice little spot for you to sit while you're at anchor for a sundowner. These large vertical windows offer really good visibility and continuing aft on the starboard side. There's actually a door right here that goes into the salon and it's right next to the interior helm position. So that's nice. You've got options for getting in and out of the salon, but we're going to continue aft along the side decks here. Again, narrow side deck, but holding on so we don't fall over and down into the cockpit so looking forward we are going to just go ahead and head right into the main part of the boat the main salon before we get to the interior of this boat i want to thank raycon for sponsoring this video now sponsorships like this help keep the content flowing so i also want to thank you guys as well for understanding i can't tell you enough how much i use earbuds to listen to music and or podcasts in my day-to-day -day life whether i'm out for a run doing housework or working on a project you'll see me with a set in the issue though is most high quality earbuds are pretty spendy but that's where raycon comes in they're on a mission to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a 
leg for quality sound, comfort, durability, and essential smart features. Raycons are half the price for the same, if not better, quality earbuds, meaning you can get a pair and a spare and still potentially pay less than buying a big name brand set. I love the sound quality of these earbuds with the three customizable sound profiles that all sound great. The next thing I wanted to mention that really knocked my socks off is the noise isolation and awareness modes. You can decide if you want to be able to hear your environment well or not, which is an essential safety feature for activities like running, watching children at home, or generally being aware of your surroundings in a public setting. I also love having the awareness mode on when I'm running because you never know when a bear might attack. And finally, I've never run out of battery with the eight hour battery life and charging case that they come with. So if you wanna help support Learning the Lions and get a great set of earbuds, click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash LTL to get 15% off your Raycon order. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's get back to the boat tour. Heading into the main salon, it's quite apparent that you have a good amount more room in this boat than the 27. You've got another foot and a half worth of beam on this vessel, plus that four extra feet of length as well, but that beam really makes the difference. So here's that helm station from the inside now, and yeah, it's just awesome, but we'll come back to it. Going forward of that is the, the main cabin in this boat, and there is a double berth up here, pretty roomy forward cabin, a little bit of storage up here as well as a TV and the head is going to be up here as well so just like the 27 you've got a cabin with a head in the forward section of the boat but just a bit more room than that boat so that's kind of nice heading back aft the main seating area is to the port side of the boat and you've got good visibility all around i'm currently sitting at the helm station and yeah just Lots of amenities. Looks like you've got plenty of cold storage down here as well as a microwave. The galley is going to be directly aft of the helm station and it's very well appointed for what it is. Nice long galley right here. Everything you need with plenty of storage to go around. I also like the solid surface countertop with teak fiddle and you've got some drawers underneath that counter right there. Looking back at the main salon table, it looks really comfortable. I actually like the light fixtures as well and that'll become a berth should you need it. But also there is another berth down here, another cabin behind and under that main seating area and another head right here, kind of hidden away. But looking forward of that that's your second berth and your second cabin right here so a lot more space in that second cabin than there was in the 27 so that's kind of nice to see and when you wake up and come out of that second cabin you only have to go a couple feet to cook yourself some eggs with a great view out the the windows right here the main distribution panel is also right as you come out of the cabin to your left here and also i just noticed that there's actually a tv that can fold down right up there kind of interesting and coming back to the interior helm station i absolutely love this steering position you got everything you need right here guys i just want to stress that this is awesome this helm position really really cool and you know there is so much boat for the length and that's why i love these ranger tugs we're nice and protected from the weather in this interior steering position but a really good thing about this boat is that there's also a flybridge so if the weather's nice you can be outside and here's a look at that volvo diesel that is under the cockpit sole in the aft section of the boat. There's also a generator down there as well. So this is a really big space to be honest and you've got a lot of power down here for living aboard. There's also more storage to each side as well as equipment access. All right guys, it's time for the full continuous bullet X walkthrough from bow to stern.
thanks for watching. Y'all know that I love these boats. This 31 is a great little trawler for coastal cruising. As always, current asking price and broker contact information will be in the description below. That's going to be it for this one. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. Five years ago, we posted our first yacht tour. Since then, I've been aboard hundreds of cruising boats, both on and off camera. I've also been sailing for about 15 years now, worked on three boats, lived and cruised on one, and have grown this YouTube channel to a full-time career over the course of the last seven years. Randy has also been an integral part of all of that, but as I'm sure you've noticed, she's stepped away from the channel for the most part to take the lead in raising the kids, which I have to say is a crucial role and no easy task. She's an absolute rock star. One of the biggest requests I frequently get is for help in your cruising yacht search, and I completely understand why. The yacht market is full of brokers that are supposed to be seen as, quote, experts. However, while some may be, oftentimes that's not the case. This is compounded by the fact that by definition, because they make commission on the sale, a broker is biased towards selling you a boat, but not towards selling you the right boat for you. You cannot rely on them to have your best interests at heart. This is actually why I've turned down countless brokers that have offered me jobs over the years. I don't make money on the sale of any boats that I tour, and I want to keep it that way to avoid bias to protect you, the audience. So hopefully as a solution to this problem, I've launched what I'm calling Not A Broker Consulting. This is a new Patreon page where you can sign up to get help from me specifically at varying levels during your cruising yacht search. You might have noticed that boats come in all shapes and sizes, and cruising plans, budgets, families, personal needs, etc., are all different. My goal will be to help to find a boat that fits your customized situation the best that I can. If you sign up, you'll also get early access to ad-free versions of our yacht tours, which is an opportunity to see what I'm posting before it goes live to the masses. Certain tiers will also get super early leads on yachts that I think are great deals, even before I've filmed or edited a video for them. I think this could really help those of you looking for a cruising yacht and just need some guidance. And as always, if you just wanna support what we do, there's a tier for that as well. Anyway, a link to the new page is in the description and should have popped up on screen as well. So thank you in advance. Much love. See you in the next one.